Hi, this is Nathan, your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guy. We're going to be reviewing Time Machine on Zakaria through Steam today. Uh, please like and follow us on all of our social media formats, Arcade and Pinball Talk, on our Facebook groups, Instagram, as well as YouTube. Click that red subscribe button. You know you want to. Let's go ahead and get this review underway, shall we? First things first, this is an early 80s uh, pinball table by Zakaria. And this is through the Steam format. First impressions looks pretty good. Visually looks great. See how she shoots. Yeah, first impressions are pretty good. I mean, you got the quad flippers going. The actual play, for it, uh, play field art looks pretty good as well. Interesting pretty setup to this table too. I mean you have kind of a circular kind of thing that's in the back. It's uh, actually the play field actually drops into the table and then it comes back up depending on if you go into the future or the past. So that's what it just said. It said we will be going into the past. And so there's a lock up there, which we'll start going through table mechanics here. We got quad flippers. Interesting out lanes as far as this is concerned. If you fall back behind those drop targets to the left and the right, uh, you do have an out lane there. And then of course, uh, everything else goes to the end lane. Uh, moving up the left side of the table, you have a sling. You have some drop targets to the left. You have a little rollover area. Uh, you have a time hole, which is basically, that's what you're trying to get into. That actually raises the middle of the play field, or lowers it. You have an orbit that goes around. So there's the lock right there that, that puts you into the future of the past. You have an orbit that is past that to the right that spins all the way around and comes out. So the future of that play field is actually extended up. You have some pop bumpers in the middle. Mushroom bumpers, whichever way you want to call them. Uh, you also have some targets to the back of that play field. Of course, obviously exiting to the right, you have that orbit coming back around to those drop targets. So very simplistic as far as the setup of the table, but actually pretty nice. I mean, look at the artwork on it. It looks really good. Uh, you don't really get the opportunity to play quad flippers that often, but I will say that this table shoots very well. I did go in and mess around with it a little bit. I have to change the, uh, the look, obviously, so we could try to shoot this horizontally. There is a cabinet mode, which is pretty cool. Uh, so that's one thing that you should be aware of is if you're a cabinet builder, uh, Zakaria does support uh, the cabinet view. So you could actually put that on there and it translates it immediately. Seeing I'm shooting this uh, on a regular PC at this moment, horizontal HD uh, will look better, obviously for game reviewing for this format. And uh, of course, as I get these games downloaded to my personal cabinet, of course, I will shoot them in cabinet mode as well. But all in all, a great game so far. Uh, you know, as far as replayability on this game, I will say uh, it definitely has some fun aspects to it. I mean, number one, you got quad flippers. It's very interesting to have a game with quads. And uh, the thing is, it doesn't really throw it off. Generally, you'll have quad flippers, and, and generally the intent is to make the ball go in between. This doesn't seem to be the case on this one so far. So far, it is actually allowing you to shoot the way you need it to. So they did design this very well. You got the blue flippers to the, the back left and right. And then you have the white flippers to the middle. And those dictate where your shots go. So it's just something to keep in, keep in mind there. Uh, artwork is great. It looks really good for an 80s, early 80s table, which is what I'm assuming this table is based off of its layout. I would say that it looks pretty good. Uh, the artwork was well done. There really is no soundtrack to this. You do have some sound bites, which is pretty much, let's just call the gentleman in the middle of the Time Lord. Uh, we do have some sound bites that say into the past, into the future, as you're going into that lock, which is, uh, which is uh, it says machine to the left with the arrow. So we have the M lit right now. And there you go. So there's a little call out there too. So all in all, a pretty decent table. So our work is definitely looking good. Uh, the way that this is formatted, it looks really good. So the table art, the design, the graphics behind it look great. The theme is what you'd expect. Does the table deliver on that? I would say absolutely. I mean, for what it's trying to do at this moment, 
which is basically into the future, into the past, talking about time. I would say that this table is doing what it needs to do at this point. And so we're raising the play field again. Fun factor is definitely there. Uh, I think this is a table that you could play for a long period of time. Uh, the highest score on this, I think, is like 1.5 billion. So to get that, you gotta you gotta get quite a bit of uh, points on there. Flipper gap is not too bad either. Look at that. I mean, the, the gap on this is very small. So I mean, obviously, your high ball out are gonna be your high ball out are going to be to the right side of the table, left side of the table, coming through the rollovers behind the drop targets. That's going to be your highest consistency of ball out because realistically the flippers to the middle are really not that wide. I mean, look at that. I just double flipped and I caught it. See, I just did it again. So that allows you to play this game for a longer period of time, keeps you drawn into it. So all in all, so far, so good. Layout's very interesting uh, on this one. I mean, obviously with the, the talk about the table mechanics and that... And that play field that kind of pops up out of the base and, and sinks back into it, I mean, you're basically adding a different dimension dimension of play to this table uh, because it, it's almost like, you know, like a Doctor Who or something to where, you know, you have something pop up, you're engaging it, it pops back down. So it just adds that extra element of fun to it. And it changes the shots. Let's just be honest. Adding those mushroom bumpers to the middle will make it very hard to hit that rim area where those targets are. And so we just went ahead, so we've lit up M-A-C. And so now we're in the pass and it drops. And so, you know, the, in, the intent here is now to hit all those targets to the back. And as you just heard me said, shoot three, that was blowing. And that's it. So, very nice. Very interesting game. Uh, you know, it's 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 definitely set up to play. Uh, I will say Zakaria did a good job on this, and this is on free play at, by, as, as a matter of fact. So, I mean, this is one that you can play, test, and get a feel for it. I would say that the game itself is set up very well, uh, especially for it being an older, you know, fixed solid state kind of game. Uh, I think you're going to get a lot of fun play out of this. But anyway, definitely check it out. Look for a review underneath the description of our YouTube video. There's a little triangle there. Click it, you will find our review down there, as well as some other commentary and breakdowns of the, the video game that we just played. And other than that, thank you for watching today. Again, click that red subscribe button. If you like arcade, if you like pinball, if you like pinball arcade, click that subscribe button. That's what we're all about here at Arcade and Pinball Talk. Anyway, thank you again for watching, and we look forward to our next video with you guys.